So when I was in high school, um, there was this girl who was tall and skinny, and she had bright blue hair, and she was just gorgeous. And uh, I was always pretty intimidated by her, even though I didn't really know her. And um, in fact, I didn't know her at all. And but I knew who she was. Everybody knew who Myra was. She uh, just you know jumped out at you. Uh, you couldn't see her once without remembering her forever. And um, one day. I was standing in front of my sociology class, leaning up against a pole, doing my best to look as cool as I could, and uh, Myra walked up to me, and uh, she walked straight up and she grabbed the top button of my button fly jeans, and she popped it open, and she said, hello, my name is Myra, and uh, I took a big gulp and uh, smiled and tried to muster up all the courage I could, and, and I said, hello, I'm, I'm Andrew, and um, she popped open the next button on my jeans, and she said, uh, you're friends with my, my friend Finn, right? And I sort of stammered, yeah, and she said, yeah, I, I love him, and I don't see why we're not friends, and she popped open the third button on my jeans, sort of holding them together so as not to expose me to the, to the rest of the class, and um, I just sort of stood there in awe, and she kept talking very slowly, unbuttoning every single button on my, on my Levi's until she was down to the bottom, and she was holding my pants up, and she looked at me, and she said, Are, aren't you going to stop me? And I said, well, no, but you should know that before you drop my pants, I don't wear any underwear. <laughs> and she laughed, and she smiled at me, and she buttoned my pants up really quickly, and she said, we're going to be great friends. And uh, that was 25 years ago or so. Um, and sure enough, we, we still are. And uh, a few decades later, I got a phone call from her. She, uh, she moved away to the UK, and when she, she called me, she was home because her uh, father had died. And uh, right after this phone call in which she told me this, I, I was just so overwhelmed with emotion that I, I picked up my guitar and I wrote this song, and uh, it's called Myra Says. And uh, this is for you, Myra. I love you.
that are 